Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fosker, here for another episode of the show. And we're again, I've got Gary, I'm sorry, you got a wine shop and, and your, your blog, you're cool, but I got two much better looking ladies right here than you do. There you go, I called you out. I told you to mention Gary. And I am Bear Chuck. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, so yes, I have Ceci Bredo and I have Melissa Unsell here uh, with uh, uh, Venusly Speaking and, well, Wine to Find Wine Shop that will become. Venusly Speaking. There you go. So I'll let them introduce themselves because they'll do a much better job than I will. So again, um, I'm Ceci Bredo and. Hold on, Melissa your, Unsel. your microphone's not on again. Oh, see, we see. Okay, you have to Hold on. on, on. on. There you go. We're good. Honestly. Okay. So. <laughs> hey, that's why I got. The, make sure the mine's on. Earlier, you probably saw me. You probably well, saw me doing. Green lights were good. <laughs> I was probably doing a weird thing, and I was saying Veronique, if that matters. Anyways, so I'm Sassy Barreto, first name Veronique, and this is Melissa Unsel. And we write Venusly Speaking Wine Blog, and we pretty much, right here, is the wine blogger market of San Antonio. In San Antonio. So consider yourself privileged. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. All of us in one room at one time. Oh, and we all got our branding going on. Absolutely. And, you know. and, and, and this, this whole gathering was predestined because I didn't know him, he didn't know me, I kind of knew her, they didn't know each other, and then all of a sudden we're like, hey, we're on episode 200, and he's like, I'm on episode 200. <laughs> so we decided we're going to do this. So it's predestined. We're supposed to combine and collaborate and right. all that good stuff. So um, starting the second of our episodes for this 200th episode extravaganza, um, Ole Imports is our focus today. Uh, I met Magda of Ole Imports um, at a tasting in Austin. And she, I, I was like literally tasting all these wines, okay? I just, I've seen her in the corner and she came up to me and she's like, excuse me, can you please come taste my wine? So I was like, oh, wow, okay. So Don't she have like, to ask me twice. Yeah. Yeah, right. She called me over and I was like, wow, I mean, she <laughs> sought me out. <laughs> so she was very informative and I really liked the wines I've tasted. I've tasted several without knowing they were from import, uh, Ole Imports. Um, so anyways. She was talking about how their emphasis is really on focusing on bloggers, which anybody watching this that distributes wine, bloggers, send us wine. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a live audience, so we don't just, you know, take it and drink it. We actually bring people and we have evangelists and fans, right. stalkers, uh -huh. so let us know about these lines. So, Ole Im If only all of our audience members had microphones on. <laughs> you don't want to know what they're saying. So, Ole Imports represents many of the Iberian Peninsula, i.e. Spanish Portuguese wines, uh, mainly Spain, and they were gracious enough to send us six bottles to sample. So this is in our celebration of our 200th episode. We share them with yes. Leach Wine, 1337 Wine blog, and our uh, panel of judges slash audience. <laughs> so uh, a little bit about the background. Olay Imports was started by a gentleman named Patrick Mata. Patrick Mata if you want to say with a Spanish accent. He grew up working on vineyards in Spain, um, started making wines in the 1800s in Malaga, in southern Spain. A shout out to a good friend I have in Malaga, Paula. I love you if you're watching this. In 1998, he came to the U.S. to finish his college education, and at the young, tender age of 20, he decided that with his best friend, Alberto Orte, that they were going to import wine from their college dorm. When I was in college, I didn't think about importing wine. I don't know about you. No. 
Unfortunately not. No, I wasn't thinking about wine at all. I didn't <laughs> like alcohol back then. I want to go back in time and import wine. So they started with three wines importing, and now they have 140 wines in 43 U.S. states, 10 countries, really intense. He's like not even 30, 30-something, 30 so it makes you feel kind of bad. Mm -hmm. Kind of. A little bit. Don't feel bad no. about yourself. No. Whatever. We're on our 200th post. Yeah. Who cares? Mm -mm. That's right. We have more posts <laughs> than... No, right. <laughs> no, but anyways, great job, Patrick. Apparently, he's a really great guy. Awesome. I've yet to meet him, but uh, apparently Magda just talks about him. He's a great guy. Patrick, come to San Antonio, meet us, meet our crew. We have a huge fan base. Here's a little picture. Patrick. Okay. There you go. Moving on to the wines. We're going to pour the first wine. It is the Naveran Dama. It is a cava coming from... Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. We have an unruly crowd here. Um, so we're going to pour on this cava. I will pour myself first, and you guys can take care of it. Well, what is... <laughs> My mother's in the crowd, and she's... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> okay. Continue on. So the wine that we're pouring is a cava. For those of you that don't know about sparkling wine around the world, um, in the Champagne region of France, it's called Champagne, obviously. It's made there. Anywhere else is sparkling wine. Particularly from Spain, it's called cava. From Italy, Prosecco. Uh, Germany is sect. sect. Um, KT. Nobody, nobody outside Germany drinks it. Mm, yep. So, <laughs> Pretty much. Cava is usually produced with Sarello, uh, Parellada, and Macabeo grape. This one That's is... Why she's pronouncing those because... Uh, Sessi, you're I, very I good at that. Awesome. I practice every night. Sarello, <laughs> Macabeo, Parellada. Got it. So this one is actually not any of those. No, it has one. It's uh, Chardonnay and Parreada. Chardonnay, Parreada. Say it with me. Okay. Parreada. So this comes from <laughs> this comes Parreada. from the uh, region Penedes. Um, it's 80% Chardonnay, 20% Parreada. It's uh, sustainable farming. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the green efforts in the wine industry, sustainable just means that they take a lot of effort to make sure that their winemaking uh, process, wine growing, is environmental. Uh, and that can include lots of things. They're not necessarily organic, but sustainable. Um, this particular cava, there's only 2,000 cases made, so pretty hard to find, but delicious. And they do produce a line of cavas, this brand. So um, if you can't find this particular one, you'll find them elsewhere. Um, 2,000 cases made, 900 for the U.S., so we're going to fight to the death for who can have these. 24 months are on lees. For those of you that don't know, lees are just basically residual... Dead yeast cells. Dead yeast cells. There Yummy. Sounds appetizing, huh? Um, yes. So, anyways, <laughs> let's taste. All right. Taste. Well, now, we have to yeah, cheer, cheer again. Cheer. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> We had some good. We had some uh, some nice cavas at that uh, glazier thing too, Ooh, right? Oh, so good. Yeah. Big fan. High school buddy right here. Short <laughs> Okay, I get a little smokiness on this, right? Mm. You smell the bakery? You smell the bakery? You've been yeah. making the uh, making TJ cinnamon's uh, cinnamon. Are they around anymore still? I don't know. Sourdough. 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 Yes. Sourdough. You don't Very see her, nice. but Mary Nura was on point. Yes. Sourdough on that. Mary Nura with embroidery creations for all your embroidery needs. Very nice. Mine's just all bling. Bling. Yeah. She made this shirt. She's always wearing that her shirt? bling wine short. <laughs> she didn't make that shirt. But no, this was, I don't know, one of those shirts. online. I don't know whether, I can't remember. It was either Cafe Press or Zazzle. I got one of each. I don't know. She's going to make a shirt. There you go. Is this, is this your shirt maker mm. that we've talked about? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now I, you know, we need to talk. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> I get, okay, so you're walking by a bakery in mm -hmm. like a Spanish morning, right? Mm -hmm. You're walking in the streets of Spain and you smell a bakery at like five in the morning. You're done drinking at the bars. 
I'm not waking up at five in the morning. And um, you smell the bakery. But, and see if you're going to go where I'm thinking, all right? Yeah. Keep going. So then the, the bakery is going to make these like fine pastries, but he's going to like put a lot of lemon zest on it. Okay, I get that. Yeah? All right, well, now here's what I was and thinking. And some almonds and powdered sugar. I was actually, you know, we were talking about we talked about apples on the last episode about getting the apples. I'm now getting those apples, like a like a bakery, like an apple pie almost. How do you almost. like them apples? Yeah, how do you like, how them, do you apples, like you know? them apples? So I'm getting that. Yeah, definitely on the nose and the bakery. And I like the sourdough. Yes. Does everybody like this wine? Mm -hmm. Crowd. It's yummy. It's nice. Yes. Um, is there anything that you would particularly pair this with? In particular, a friend or memory or an event? Cheese? What kind of cheese? I like the, the brie. The brie. Mm, that'd be good. Yeah, Manchego. I love Manchego. Now, I hear this one. Okay, we can, you know, I, I, me and salads and sparkling wines is always can, mm. seems to happen. A spinach salad. A spinach salad with the blue cheese crumbles, you know, and ah. the, that type of, you know, the, the typical dressing they put on, like a honey balsamic or something like that. Ooh, or a patatas like bravas. Huh? A what? Patatas <laughs> bravas. It's the, like, Spanish tapas. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's the Spanish tapas with the little patito with a little bit of spicy sauce. Nice. Sounds okay. delicious. Sounds good to me. Right. And cranberries. And you get some pecans on there. Some pecans. So. <laughs> hey. Uh huh. Right. So we have a we have a very engaged call audience back to Halloween. here. So. <laughs> I was just I was just me in a in a cape. <laughs> okay. So out of curiosity, at a suggested retail price, would everybody still buy this wine at twenty dollars? Twenty dollars? Good price point. Mm -hmm. Another unique thing that I would like to point out is I'd that this is sixteen, but you know, twenty is good enough. I would like to be free. <laughs> well, oh yeah. wait, we did. <laughs> 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 the the unique thing too is that it's a vintage, so normally you don't see vintages mm, on cabas. Right. We didn't talk about so that. So for either. twenty dollars yeah. on a vintage, because yes. usually they like to maintain a um, style. A style. So they mix and combine years and barrels, etc. And with this one, they said two thousand eight was amazing. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. So for twenty dollars for a vintage cabas, yeah, that's actually a phenomenal price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that it's a great bottle too. Great what would you bottle. pair with this as fashion? So for a fashion pairing for this, since we have the mm. Vineously chic section of Vineously speaking, mm. and we like we like to mix things up a little bit. We like to have a little fun on our on our blog. So for this, I would definitely go with something very very vibrant. And I'm thinking, just wear some like awesome fashion like booties that have fur on them, and then have a bolero with Ew. fur on top as well. Mm. And Strut around with this, carry the bottle. Carry the bottle like a G, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we might have some inspiration from the lovely lady on the bottle too. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that, I would I would totally do that. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. Yeah, I'm just like Mark with furry booties right, and right. a bolero. Pearl. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Yes, right. there I you like go. That. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> both fur. All right, are we moving on? <laughs> moving on. Next line. Yes. Olay Imports. Thank you for the Navedan. Delicious. Delicious. Next, we are moving on to the Bodegas Barco de Piedra. Okay. From Ribera del Duero. Anytime I do anything Spanish wine, I'm going to have Sissy come over she and do different. So well. I mean, I can pronounce this stuff, but I can't pronounce it as well. But the funny thing is, I don't speak Spanish. She does speak French. Hey. Yes. It's uh, like, you know, any, any, any French wine, I'm she's coming to, over and pronounce uh, I'm going to say one. this in a French accent. The Vivo de Gas, Barco de Piedra. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah, we pour and I talk. Pour, pour, pour. I give that to oh. you. Okay. Barco, barco, barco. Give me a second. Barco. Okay. 2010. Barco de piedra. The bark of the foot, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's from, 
from the Ribera del Duero. It is 100% tempranillo. Tempranillo, in case you don't know, is the grape meaning temprano in Spanish, which means early, so it's an early ripening grape. 25-year-old vines, almost as old as I am. Oh, really? <laughs> definitely, not as, definitely not close to my age. <laughs> Except that you're 27, not 25, so. <laughs> okay, we ate white wine, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's got um, <laughs> it's got three three thousand one hundred cases made, but only one thousand four hundred and fifty for the U.S. So again, we're gonna fight to the death for these. Um, five months in French oak with a teensy bit of American oak, and that's all I'm gonna say until we get to the tasting part of it. Tempranillo. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I'm getting a little bit of spice, some plum, a little bit of wood, mm -hmm. kind of like, um, um, I feel like I'm back at Salt Lake Barbecue, sorry, <laughs> I was there over there last week, mm. met, met Scott the owner and, and Damien, owner of D Duke, Duckman, Dukeman. Did you really? Yeah, I met him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, when I went to go see Driftwood Winery, by the way, that's going to be the episode in between 200 and this one, just because I promised them I'd have it up by a certain date. Um, so this will be episode 202. Sorry. Traitor. I promised it would be the next episode of 200, so I haven't been over there. But I, I there's a ton of Texas wines. Texas wineries got to go there. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know. Anyway, um, but kind of like that, you know, kind of like you're, you've got the wood fire going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's very, it's very, Ooh, very. Yeah. Yeah, very vibrant. I kind of want to turn on my fire. It, you know, it's, it's very, you, know, you can't really see your I guess hand you should it. say make a fire, but I'm just going to turn it on. Turn on the fire. What a switch. <laughs> plummy, yes. Very plummy, yes. Very plummy on that. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night on fire. We should do a wine karaoke night. I've got all the doors seen. There you go. Accessories and costumes for the wine pairing. Can we can we celebrate our 215 point episode? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Back. Two Back tasting. to business. Back to tasting. Everybody. Right, so, so you got the plummy part, but I also get kind of a chocolatey thing. This wine is fantastic. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is really nice. You know, we, we weren't talking about, you know, we talked before we started recording that we weren't going to score these wines. But I would score this one very high. I mean, yeah. very high as far as how I score. I don't really give anything above a 90 of a, out of 100 very often. So this would be somewhere 90 or more, um, not 100. Because kind of like how I evaluate my employees, nobody's a perfect. So, though apparently Robert Parker feels there's 100 point one. Except me. Oh, yeah. Uh, they yeah. are delicious. Well, I just think, just in general, Tempranillos are just great, like, meat wines and barbecue wines, steak mm -hmm. wines. Yeah. I really, yeah, I mean, yeah. really, I, I really think that they they do well with that type of pairing. And they're, they're I keep yeah. talking about how Cabernet Franc is becoming my, my favorite, but, but Tempranillo has that kind of like that. I, I'm really enjoying Tempranillos, yeah. but Cab Franc is really kind of like my new, like, favorite. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of fashion would you pair this with? So, I'm feeling that we need some velvety texture to go mm. along with this mm -hmm. wine. So, like a velvet Elvis? Yes. <laughs> that, exactly. You should be doing the fashion pairing no. work. I, no. You know what? Right now, I forfeit Denise Lee Chic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking like I was actually seriously thinking like like rodeo. 
Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Like but leather. That's because, you know, the whole yeah. barbecue yeah. thing. Velvety yeah. chaps. And tempranillo and a lot Velvety of Texas wineries trying to do tempranillo. <laughs> okay, rodeo occurs here in San Antonio in February. I'm on it. Velvety chaps. Velvety chaps. With Gallegos. famously chic on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bling. And bling. And bling. I'm, and kind bling. Of, yeah. I'm kind of feeling like a beef carpaccio with this. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the retail price, but I don't believe them. Really? It's well, wait, let's ask. What do you think it is? Okay. Anyone but Mary? Any, anyone? What do y'all think the retail, retail price on this? Price? For this point? This is the price is right. $19.99. One dollar. Nineteen. Okay, the Wait, retail. Now I better, no, no. The, the suggested retail price for our audience is nineteen ninety nine. Okay. It's actually. Uh, nope. No, but it's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollar retail. Very, very well priced. I think it's a really, really good. Yeah. That's well priced. Yeah. Olay and pork. Good reaction. Good reaction. Barco. Excellent price. Excellent. Excellent. No, I think it is. I think it's a, barco, barco, barco. I think it's very reasonably priced for that, for what it is. I mean, like I said, I think it's an excellent wine. I would highly recommend it. So good. Okay, um, barco de piedra, great price. Olay and pork. And that's yes. just wine number one in the red. Yeah. Drink up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. In Texas, we love our barbecues. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, you guys are going to be really shocked at the prices. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but... But remember, Spanish wines are usually value wines. Maybe not as much as value wines as they used to be, but they're still, you still get some great, great wines for a good price. And in oh. Portugal, let's talk Produce about Portugal. You can get some really good mm. Portuguese wines for real cheap, on, on you know, good price. Right. Notice that we don't have a spittoon because these are really great. I just I forgot. Mine. Too good. <laughs> I forgot my spittoon. I could use this glass as my. Hey, I did that that one time. Yeah. I did. I had the had the glass and yeah. <laughs> there you go. Moving on. All right, moving on to one. what we got next. Docu. All right, chatty Chatterton friends in the audience. Okay. Chatty Chatterton. Guadiana. Is that right? Guadiana. Did I pronounce it right? <laughs> hey, as my parents oh. can tell you, and as a good friend what of. What do you say? Guadiana? Rivera del Guadiana. Yeah, you had it. I can't actually pronounce Spanish. I just, I just say I can't. Okay, so talking about this wine while it's being poured, it is 2010 again. 100% Tempranillo, so we can compare it with the one before and this one. So let's see what they say. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. There's 4,000 cases made and 3,000 for the U.S., so it's a bit more. So we don't have to fight to the death, just to the extreme pain of the person who loses. Um, <laughs> Cake or death? That's for you, Eddie Izzard. Um, it's two months. Two months in French oak. Really, just two months. Huh? Yep. So it's a bit less. The other one was five months in French. So yeah, duck you. Where is this? Where is this from in Spain? Again? Where is it from? You got it right. Hmm. Yeah, Rivera, it's um, going towards the Portuguese border. Um, yeah, towards Portugal, southeast. No, sorry, southwest. Southwest. Yeah, I always do that too, because everything's east of us, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm not the only one that does that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it would be southwest. I'm like, no, it's south. No, yeah, it's southwest. I'm sorry. It's uh, located west of La Mancha near the Portuguese border. La Mancha. Don Quixote. La Mancha. La Mancha. Okay, friends. So, what do we smell? It's a lot larger than the last one. Yeah. For a tempranillo. I don't get as much plum, but I get... I don't know, maybe a bit of cherry, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, more of that black cherry, yeah. 
Mm, no. Oh. But I, I am starting. I, I do kind of get some alcohol on it, so. You know what you're gonna do with this? You're gonna like just take a little bit and glaze like a pork tenderloin. Oh, that would be delicious. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, being the, that the last tempranillo is a little bit velvety, what would you say this one would pair with this fashion? So, I think with this one, I automatically think feathers. Mm. Oh, feathers. Nice. And you know what's funny? I have a dress in my closet that's all sparkly up here. Yeah. Feathers on the bottom. <laughs> nice. That would perfect. be perfect, huh? Nice. Yeah, I got nothing for you on fashion on this. Perfect. So. <laughs> I'm going to defer to you on that. Okay. Feathers. So anything feathery, <laughs> walk around with it. Oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. That's you know, good. that's interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also great Rolling Brown Stones sugar. song, but you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know, and then even a little bit on the palate, you know, a little bit of sweetness on it. Yeah. It would. It'd be excellent with the pork tenderloin. Not that pork tenderloin and some bacon. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely more of a fruit forward wine than, yeah. than a quote, old, old world, you know, um, vegetal, spicy, you know, spicy wine. More of a fruit forward wine. I think, I think the black cherries are really coming through more yeah. on the palate than the nose. So the word on a little the bit street. Of too. Word on the street? Word on the street. Take a little bit of this wine, reduce it, put it on your pork tenderloin, yes. your steak. There you go. Something that's going to be amazing. Uh, as far as the cheesemonger side, more aged cheese would be really nice with this. Yes. I'll go with that. More yeah. of that. No, nothing, yeah. The ones that crumble, you can't shave them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Ones that bite back at mm -hmm. Yeah, an <laughs> aged Montego. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wisconsin cheddar. Yes. <laughs> all right. So what do you Canadian. what do y'all think? Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think this wine costs? I'm not looking this time. All right. Um, yeah, we need some I didn't look, here. So this one you're gonna love. Ooh, I'm gonna say twelve bucks. Okay. Yeah. Oh. She said because you're going to love, so I'm thinking it must be less than, less than the last one. We got $14.99, $21.99. Everybody. One dollar. <laughs> I like that uh, It is nine dollars. Oh. Everyone, take it home. Winner. Take it home. Winner. I would like <laughs> several bottles. <laughs> nine So if you'd like to buy a case, call yeah. Jesse and she'll, $9. she'll fix you up. That's a great price point for this wine. It's no, it's excellent. Good. You can do a lot of things with it. Only imports so far three for three. Yeah. Not disappointing. So far so good. So are we ready for the we're, next we're one? We're going to move on. Yes, yes. We have a pretty unruly crowd. Yeah, well, you I know. know. <laughs> I don't know. We should... Come on. You... I'm not an advocate of getting you know, wasted, but I mean, I'm like, you guys are like falling behind me here. Do, do they hear us more than the again. crowd? What? Do they hear us more than the crowd? They should hear us more than the crowd, yes. Actually, okay. that, microphone pipe, pipe, this, that microphone pipe picks up a little bit of the crowd. Okay. But, crowd. Uh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah, the crowd's having a good time. <laughs> Everyone's doing a the wave. They're doing a the wave. Trust me, without the microphones, you wouldn't be able to hear us right now. I so. hold no responsibility for our friends. There you go. There you go. Just... <laughs> That's coming from my mom. She said that she's not my friend. And I just made an observation, but for Vinyasly Chic, Everyone in the audience is either wearing black or red, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, or polka dots. And well, it's swimming for me on camera. He's, he's that way I don't the, stand like this. He's and go, the star mm. on our and, and we have uh, a green in our audience as well. So we have Christmas colors. Really we have a herbaceous notes with the green herbaceous, and the yellow. Yes. And <laughs> if if we were <laughs> if we were, if you were a Sauvignon that Blanc, that's what you would wear. There you go. <laughs> if we were able to, we would form a pure and Brian would be on top because he would be the star. <laughs> nice. All right, so we'll right, get move on to on, wine number on. three. Okay. I feel like this Silence. is an episode of Dig, except better because anyway, those of you know Dig Nathan, you'll get Everybody. That. I can't yell because I'm wearing a microphone. Yeah, Kevin Rose, Alex Albrecht, I'm taking over Everyone. your I'm taking over your spot too. Everybody put your glass so to your quitting. mouth. 
Everybody glass to your mouth. Glass, glass to your mouth. Glass. And swallow. Finish up your wine so we can go to the next one. It worked for a little bit. Ole imports. Your wines are amazing. Okay, next. Nabucco. Nabucco. Is that like a Star Wars? Another Yoda. <laughs> Another Yoda? <laughs> Nabucco. Nabu. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody, silence, s'il vous plaît. Silence. Well, I've never heard of this. Attention, no. wine crowd, silence. I'm talking. Uh oh. Hello. All eyes on me. There you go. <laughs> and your mouth. <laughs> Not on me. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all laughing. Our podcasts are usually safe for work, so just say it. That was not intended. <laughs> we can edit that later. No, there's no editing. Remember that. Why don't edit? Okay. You just go right straight through. Okay. They this see one... me get up from the table and go to the kitchen and get glasses and receipts and everything. So. Eye contact. Nabucco. Nabucco. 2010 again. Third wine. That's Third 2010. Wine, yes. It's from the producer Senorio de Barraonda. It's from Yetla, which is in the southeast region of southeast for you guys of Spain. Um, yes. It's 50% Monastrel. For those of you that don't know, Monastrel is the Spanish name for Mourvedre in French, mm -hmm. in, in fran en Francais, and 50% Syrah. Sustainable farming again. They are concerned about the environment, so we should support them. 2,000 cases made, 2,000 for the U.S. So I think that we pretty much have the market on this one. So if you're living in Spain, sorry, or anywhere else, sorry. Um, three months, in, uh, three months, three months in French oak. And this winemaker is a lady, I think. Is that a Sally, a woman? Yes. Yeah. Yay! I have an I have an at work, and it's a woman, so I was. They're not a woman. We're sorry, but <laughs> we're claiming it's a woman. So this is one is going to taste amazing. What do you smell, Mark? Audience. Well, I, I get the plum again, but I, you know, honestly, I get, I, it seems a little, I get a lot of alcohol still. I mean, it's really, it feels like it's kind of hot. I'm going to, I'm going to make a guess. Is it, is These it, wines uh, have been open for like 14, 14 and a half percent or more alcohol on there. Can you look at the bottle? Roberto. Robert, what's Monastro. the alcohol content? What's the alcohol content in there? No, maybe it's like 13 and a half. 14. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> this wine has been open for three hours. Too, too bad, too bad uh, you know, the, the certified test doesn't really care how you can tell how alcoholic a wine is, but. You know, I'm just going to say Ooh, this. No, you know what? Okay, so here's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just got a little bit of um, like brush, like like wood, not, not hairbrush, but like you're out like in the, the country a little bit. You're out in like the fields and you get like the, the brush, you know. I don't have much hair to brush. Hey, maybe? Okay, but you know, get, get kind of like that, 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 I don't want to say ragweed, ragweed, but the type of like, you know, um, wood. Briar? Yes, briar, yeah. I just like brush, you know, like brush wood type of thing, but, but a little bit of that. There you we go. can't take our friends anywhere. <laughs> Dolce, what's up? Oh, there you go. Actually, we take them everywhere. <laughs> to tell you the honest truth, we take our friends everywhere. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, what do you think, audience? Tell us. Talk to us. Do you like it? It is very smooth. Yeah. It's got. You said that was that. That was the Syrah, and what was the other? Menestrel. Menestrel. Mm -hmm. You know, now that one I've never seen. Did you read the story? Yeah. yeah. Right, it's, it's not super litanic. Yeah. The 
I'm, I'm personally going to say, I personally believe. <laughs> You'll understand the last <laughs> Anyway. Another Halloween callback. Okay. <laughs> Halloween callback. I was Miss South Carolina. Go watch the YouTube. Type Miss South Carolina, whatever right. you'll find on YouTube. I personally believe that Nabuke wines are suitable for South Texas wine drinkers because certain people out there make barbecue items and anyways it would go great with barbecue excellent excellent barbecue yeah. venison bedstrap ooh okay. venison bedstrap ah, venison yes oh. it's like a real caramelized onion very mellow you know where mm. you said that onion was okay yes yes you like your little french onion tartlets yeah. alright so yes Mary and Yura make some amazing how many of you know what a chimichurri sauces. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, this right here. Can we try it? There you go. This is because we have it at work, at, at the day job, so. Um, we, we, at work, we, we've been, well, one of the one of the restaurants, we were suggesting a certain pairing of wine, because there's a, there's a spice to the wine, and you go with the chimichurri, but Honestly, I think this would be a better pairing because it's a little more fruit forward. Mm. Yeah, and, and I think it would work well with, with the spiciness of something like a sauce like that. Yeah, you know, that's not yeah. necessarily chimichurri, but I think it would work with that. Yeah. So, yes, the spicy barbecue we mentioned earlier, I think mm -hmm. it would work well. And I know, help counteract that. I know that it's not Ole Imports, but I tasted some Santa Julia wines at a lunch, and Chef Anna Rodriguez made an amazing chimichurri sauce. So mm. I'm sorry only yeah. imports, but I do have to put a plug in for Santa Julia Chef. And I, I do get a lot of yeah. on the palace. Still get a lot of that wood, that like you know brushwood or whatever briar. Right. You know, briar. Briar. This is gonna be another one. This is gonna be a new word, new new explanation. But briar. <laughs> I get a lot of that. Basically, what this is, this is one of those wines that I will say it tastes like you're you're in Texas. It tastes like the state, even though it's not from Texas. I feel like I'm somewhere in like a field somewhere, and there's a long bunch of like. You know, trees, and I can taste the wood, and not not an oak type of where you taste like the oak from wine, yeah. but that type of stuff. And what fashion pairing would you oh, put with this, yeah, Miss yeah. Melissa? So for fashion with this one, we have 50/50 on the grapes here, and so I'm going to say a nice chunky necklace with a little bit of bling mm. and a little bit of subdued mate colors as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be excellent with this wine. You very nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Maybe a little cowboy hat to like make a note to Texas, like rodeo fashion. Maybe no? I don't know. I don't even. I'm you know fashion. what? I don't even own cowboy boots or a hat. Yeah, he's but if you would like to wear there that, that's <laughs> absolutely fine. <laughs> I do, but I took them to France and they're still there. Oh, okay. My Texan boots are in France. That's really weird. <laughs> the, uh, whoa, whoa. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, moving on. Audience, silence, s'il vous plaît. We have two more wonderful wines to taste. Silence. All right, what was next? Bodega La Cartuja. Okay, so I'll let you pour that first while I drink. Uh, sure. Veronique okay. and myself are obviously uh, slow tasters. <laughs> Too busy talking. It's okay. It's coming along this way. Yeah. Price here no? Oh, oh good yeah. job. Audience good job, member. Audience. Price point. Audience Price member points. called me out. <laughs> good job. Good Nabucco, job. Nabucco, right? Yes. No. What do you think Got it was? Food. Oh, that one's $12.99. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12. $12.
the little tone they use to announce that the trains are arriving yeah. is literally the same three tones from Soldier Boy. Hey, literally. Dun, Soldier dun, Boy, dun. Hearing that for eight hours straight was, <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> no, I did not break into dance. I was going to would that. have. No. Oh, did you? <laughs> but, I me mean, tell you, at the wedding last week, I taught everyone how to duggy. just oh, saying. Oh, nice. Saying. I don't even know how to duggy. <laughs> so, we'll do that after the tasting, everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would just like Actually, to yes. um, yeah, this one. I would like to point out for Ole Absolutely. Imports. Absolutely. Let's, let's get yeah. a little close up of the label on the back. I don't know. Ole it's got great information on there, so I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. I wish every I wish all wine labels give you a lot of information. Well, unless yeah, it gives you great information. if they can't read it, if you're an importer or you're doing Oh, that was Aaron Rodgers, never mind. <laughs> okay. Everybody, silence. Silence, s'il vous plaît, silence. Silence. Ferme ta bouche. Um, the back label is the grape. It says the vine, the location, the soil, the climate. Follow this. Uh, maybe we can put like a picture of it. I bet you yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's yes. Excellent Follow it. On that. Follow it. Yes. It, it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I wasn't really looking at the labels here, but all of this is Every definitely an Olé thing because. Um, it's Good job, Olé. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, as a wine blogger. Olé. As a wine blogger, I mean, I really want, or just a wine enthusiast, I want to know these things. Mm -hmm. Whereas you get a lot of wines and you, you don't know anything. All they put is just a bunch of marketing fluff on the back. And this is just, <laughs> yeah. it tells you what it is. I, mean, yeah. I, I think the only thing I would maybe add, if you don't have it, is pairings. Food pairings. pairings. That's about it. However, yes, however, our audience has been very good at identifying food pairings for yes. us as well. So. Uh, so if you have more wines, Ole Imports, which you do because I have your book, send us more. All right, so tell us about this wine. We love them all. We do love them all. These are really astonishing us at the price. And my dog as well. Dolce loves them, just saying. Dolce likes them. So, Kartu, okay. Okay, everybody. Okay, so, so this is the uh, Priorat. Um, so this comes from the region Priorat. It sounds really weird, but actually, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really like Priorat as a region. Priorat, it sounds cool. I like to say it, drink it, big fan. La Cartuja, I don't know what that means. Priorat, Priorat, like near Barcelona area. It's 50% Garnacha, 30% Mazuelo. Mazuelo, if you remember from the Cava, 10% Cabernet Sauvignon and 10% Syrah. 3,000 cases made and 1,300 made for the US. Fight for the death. Um, aged eight months in French oak. What do you smell? It's just like, it's like I, you know, I just get clean out of it. Mm -hmm. Just there's nothing. I don't get anything really, like, nothing predominant out of it. It's just, it, it just smells like it's just a clean nose. Uh, not 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 a not a bad chemical. Mm -hmm. Clean, not, not like bleach type of clean, right. but just yeah. it's just tight. Yeah, it, it's very it's very tight nose. I don't get much of it. Just it's just a clean a clean nose, and I can't I can't give. I guess so. I just can't get anything. I can't get any fruit or spice out of it. But you know that's okay. I get a little. What? Lavender. Okay, floral. I would guess yes, because I have a hard time with floral mm -hmm. stuff, but I, I can kind of get that floral type. Underbrush. Are you reading the notes? Yeah, <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that it's a spice box. I don't know what that means. Spice box, like a potpourri type of thing. Potpourri, yeah, yeah, potpourri and like right. Yeah. It's like a really under, kind of spicy, you know, those kind of um. Very understated. It is understated. It says understated here. Understated, okay. That's very nice. Very nice. Would you buy it? Yeah. We'd buy all of these. I would buy all. Olay, we'd buy all of these. All that I've drank so far, I would. Buy. Everybody has loved these. Olay, you win. Olay wins. I love to hear that. Um, fashion as she drinks. 
Um, first of all, on, on the palate, again, very, very smooth. Um, not, not a lot of heat to it. Um, not super tannic. Um, moderate acid on there. I, I get. I, I heard some say blueberries, and I kind of yeah. get that on the palate. You know, yeah. like, like a berries type of thing. Um, and a little, a hint of wood, but not, not, not a lot. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's easy drinking. Um, this is something you could drink by itself without food. Yeah. And it's easy like Sunday morning. Anyway, um, yeah. there you go. Uh, <laughs> time for some music pairing. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke for See, episode there we go, the 215. Two, two, yeah, there you go. Absolutely. No, we should do episode 210 for San Antonio. <laughs> 210. Oh, oh, oh we code. just won. Okay, okay, but let me tell you what you should wear while drinking right. fashion pairing. How, how she, what she pair so, it? a fashion pairing. Silk, this is so silky smooth and clean. Silky smooth and clean. So we need a silk jacket that goes just to the thigh, maybe three mm -hmm. quarter length sleeve, with a little um, maybe floral notes on it. Maybe mm -hmm. they're black floral, but maybe they're a little bit colorful. Yeah, like a Perfection. tan, silky with like a black floral. Perfection. Oh. Yes. And I'm just going to throw another another music reference. A short skirt with a long jacket. Mm. A little cake. There you go. Mm. Woohoo! See? <laughs> we got it going on. I love it. Chanel. <laughs> Chanel. Yeah. Chanel. Oscar de la Renta. Excellent. There's the, the music major coming out. You know, so. The music degree coming out. See music in my parents in our future. All right. So um, uh, definitely like it. We'll can I talking take price? a small? Oh, we're talking price. 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 Okay. Price. Price. I'm gonna guess eleven dollars. Okay. I like the guessing game look. we have going on here. So what would you guys guess for this? Thirteen. Eleven and nine. Fourteen. Price. Price. People Guesses? over here. Chatty. Anyone? Six ninety nine. Ooh, I like your price. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's fifteen dollars. Oh wow! Wow, we underpriced this. So what does it go with? All of these ones are great. What, what did they say goes with? What did they say? Oh, yeah, on their little notes there, did it say? Hold on. Um, Hold on. I mean, even at fifteen dollars, I think it's good. Um, but but I think I would rather see it. <laughs> nah. But so I, you I guys like are liking the Tempranillos lower. better. It just yeah. it's just that it's not as complex as some of the other wines. That's why this is easy drinking. So fifteen is maybe a little bit high, but. This is watching a video. Oh, exactly. <laughs> um, this one says that it doesn't say. Doesn't say. That's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't know. Right, I like pre though. All right, so let's talk about price point again. We were at, I only, I, I didn't hear any price point on there, so let's talk about price point. Uh, first of all, oh, by the way, uh, the battery died, we're back. Um, we luckily noticed the red, the red light wasn't on recording, so we shouldn't have missed too much, so we're back. And I think we're, we missed the whole price point. If not, you'll hear it twice, but we'll see the price point on there for you. Right, and we were giving plugs. That's, we yeah, didn't plug. give any plugs. Plug, plug, plug. That's why I was, I was typing in plug, yeah. typing information, and that's when I noticed it was, the light wasn't on. We're about to. Okay, I'm gonna make sure because I don't need it. So, we have, we have, we have, have nearly a year of embroidery season. Make it shit. Yeah, you make this shit. We'll make my shit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so Miriam here of embroidery creation. Then we have Maria Tristan. Maria Tristan of... American Pearl. American Pearl Lab. She does so much. So any of you so much. Mm, there you so much. Here we go. It's Maria Tristan. American... Tristan. It's 
Three stars. Yeah. Three stars. That's how I remember my high school. But he's my whole high school buddy, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look him up. Just saying. Okay, and um, so yes, yes, yes. Okay, so then we have Andy Esther. Andy Esther, the Yeti office furniture. It's on Rock City. That's Rock City. So any of your office furniture needs, any office furniture needs, they do it from Santiago. Yeti tree at Apple Center. I'm good for that. Brian Smith. Yeah. He's a fancy IT guy at USA. Anything else to say? Brian Smith. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have like a radio voice thing going on too. Okay. All your IT needs. Okay, I'm going to do it like an app. I'm going to do the IT thing inside. <laughs> then, uh, then we have... I thought I was a hand. Um, Mr. Yeah. Joseph Hogan was statues. High school music service. High school music service. So all your instrumental... Joseph Hogan, instrumental... High school music service. No. Uh, high school music service. You have high school kids, they have instruments, they have music. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything because I have a few things I could say, but I'm <laughs> not going to leave it alone. And we have Christina Coggin of Seth. She's a statue. Yeah. 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 It's all the class, so you have the class factory, high school instrument needs. You have Brian Smith of the FDA, IT safety from the side. Virginia, Virginia, I'm sorry. You have Virginia Kelton. Let me let us know. You're hot nanny dot com. Hot nanny. Hot nanny dot com. You, you better go you better go buy that real quick. Because in about two weeks someone's gonna buy your hot nanny dot com. <laughs> Maybe I will just have it redirected to 1331. Very good. She is very happy. Virginia Clouds. 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 Virginia Clouds.
So shall we go on to our, yes, our last? Yes, onto wine number six. Last one. The audience is ready. Wine Pass it six. along. We'll go last, I guess. Oh, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. We're ready. Apparently, I need a drink. <laughs> this one is a, a special one for me. Ludicrous. The, uh, oh. the winemaker. Ludicrous. Oh. It's a party. Mazel tov. Hey, it's a party. So these are broken. <laughs> So many broken okay. glass. Okay. Yeah, yes, I'm glad it missed your head. <laughs> you gotta grind it. Y'all are married. Dan and Bone to pay. Everybody? All right, so. You only get half of side, side point, it's okay, because we have like several of these glasses. Don't worry. Not a problem. Yeah. No, not a problem. Just make okay. sure doesn't go over there. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. We pause for a second. We're about to taste a special wine. Very special. Yeah. So this comes from Cellar Pignol, and Cellar Pignol is with Ole Imports, but um, Juanjo, uh, Juanjo, is the uh, gentleman that makes the wines. He's mm -hmm. one of the winemakers, and he came to San Antonio, and so we were at Joe Saglambeni's wine shop, which we support small business wine shops. So Absolutely. even though yes. we are wine a fine wine shop, Joe Saglambeni's wine uh, cool fine wine shop is yep. so cool. Very Absolutely. good. Support them. Trust me, yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyways, he was there and he was doing a great tasting. So we met him and he signed a bunch of bottles. Really cool guy. So if you can find Cellar Pignol, they have a bunch of labels um, of their wine. We're tasting the Ludovicus, and so I fully support them a lot. These, all these wines are great, but this one is um, definitely one. Well, that it's very fun to meet the yeah. winemakers. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Very personable guy, which I imagine that anybody that Ole takes on is going to be the same way. So, did you want to pour yourself? In? Um, yes. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Believe. Mm. Before you pass it around. <laughs> Excellent. Don't sit, chug. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but she has wine in that glass, too. <laughs> well, I wanted to give it to her before we pass it around to our audience. She's been in the wine shop. I have. Wine in the brain. I had a tasting brain. earlier. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. No. On the palate, I, get, I still get a plum thing. I mean, it's a, kind of a recurring theme among some of these mm -hmm. wines, but get the plum thing on, on the uh, nose. Oh, I did you put my nose. Is that plum? Yeah. I have a dog here, by the way. Miss oh, Dolce. Come back over here. She doesn't have her own business, so I didn't plug her. I go. forgot to tell you about this one. Can I interrupt you for yeah, a second? Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's go. Okay, so Ludovicus 2010, which I think everyone is almost 2010. Excuse me. Oh. No, you got it. We're good. Okay, so we have uh, Ludovicus 2010. It's uh, the Cellar Pignol. So there's many labels of these. Um, it's from the Terra Alta region, which is just outside of Barcelona. 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 It's 40% uh, Garnacha, 15% Cariñena, 10% Merlot, 20% Syrah, and 15% Tempranillo. Again, it's 40% Garnacha, 15% Caridena, 10% Merlot, 20% Syrah, and 15% Tempranillo. They spared no expense. 9,000 cases made, 7,000 for the U.S., so we don't have to fight to the death just for the extreme pain. Three months in French Oak. And American. And American. So what do you smell? Awesome. So I got the oh, sweet. awesome sauce. It's anyway, awesome. um, <laughs> I got the plum, maybe a little chocolate on it. And that's about it. That's all I plum get. Anyone chocolate. else? Mm -hmm. So what fashion what pairings? Do you get? Do you, you have? Or are you just waving? Oh. You just waving over here. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyone else? You guys, you have to like realize that our audience is wild. <laughs> Audience, what do you smell? Goodness. Goodness, amazingness, chocolate, plums. Can we have a no, there's Oh, I would like to put a plug. We had a we had a Halloween event and we put this wine there. That's a good finish. Yeah, we had a Halloween event. We did a Vinicius speaking Halloween event. We had this wine. I get that, that had a more than the nose. orange label. Dark orange cherry, for sure. Tons yeah. Attention, attention, s'il vous plaît, silence, s'il vous plaît. Attention, s'il vous plaît. 
Uh -huh. We are doing the fashion pairing now. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. I would like to ask the audience what Ooh. you would wear. Yeah. What would you wear? Well, because I, I see some of you comment on what you would wear. What you are feeling when you're drinking this wine. What would you wear? say, Robert, something about the <laughs> we have a shirt with cherries on it. A shirt with cherries on it. Mm -hmm. It's a bit silky. It smells I do, silky too. I do have to say that if if <laughs> silky smooth <laughs> with cherries. If you were like on a more serious fashion note, if you were in the mood, yeah, the cold weather, you could have like one of those red jackets, like a long red jacket with this one. A little red jacket with a little cinch little coat tie. Oh, red. purple. Okay. Okay, we have a we have a, a point of contention, red or purple. Eighty six to red, it's purple. Yeah, dark cherry. Yes, dark dark cherry. Dark, yes. mm. I love that. So Robert's gonna wear a long purple jacket and I'm gonna wear a long red jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent day. Oh, pajamas. Mm. Yes. Pajamas. Okay. Ooh, my like mom that. said yeah. silk red pajamas. Silky. Silk red pajamas. See? See? So that's very good. I love that. I love it. Okay. So are we, are, I think, I think we're wrapped up. Oh, no. Music and price. Price point. What do you think? Yeah. I already looked. Oh, actually, you covered it. Uh, purple rain, little purple prince action. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Suggested retail price. No, it's going to be Bob Seger. What do you guys think the price? What would you pay for this wine? I looked, but she had it covered, so I, I don't know. $15.99? I'm thinking more. $19.99, $17.99. We have a lot of, okay. Actually, I'm going lower, $7.99. Veronique, what 11, is the price? $11. Woo! Right. So good, good value for 11. I'll take that. Great value. Winner. Winner. Okay, everybody, everybody, silence, s'il vous plaît, silence, silence. Silence, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Yes. A few more minutes. Everybody? Everybody, put your glass in your mouth. No. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing? I'm not going to. way we can sign this one. You're already out of wine, so, okay. <laughs> just to be, just to be assured. Everyone? Everyone? Copperheads. <laughs> I would just like to say No, listen here Just in case the audio does not come through I would just like to say a big I would like to say a big thank you to Ole Imports Yes For sending us this wine For being Ole Imports, thank you for being a part of this monumentous episode posting of 1337 Leech Wine mm -hmm. blog Amen. and Venusly Speaking and Wine and Fine Wine Shop and all the other plugs we made. Thank you very much for sending these wines. We appreciate it. I think everyone here was surprised by the prices, so I think yes. that... And how good everything was. And how good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It was very amazing wine. Very good. And good I stuff. know, good yeah, juice. I think you did a good job with your quality. And they like your wine labels and the back labels. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Anything else? I'm holding my. <laughs> um, and and Dolce the wine dog. Right. Dolce Dolcetto Barreto and Bailey Barbaresco are the wine dogs of the shop. Of the shop, yes. Um, so thank you very much, Ali Imports. Um, thank you. Thank Cheers. you very Cheers. much. Cheers. 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 Thank you. We enjoyed it. All right. Cheers. 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 Thank you. All right. Well, I'm out of wine, but anyway. <laughs> All right, folks. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, as always, stop by the website. Check everything out on there. And uh, we'll see you again next time. <laughs>